Cleveland, Ohio scribbles in my notebook as the Cleveland Browns face the Green Bay Packers at First Energy Stadium 1. Now that John Dorsey has replaced Sashi Brown as the main man running the Browns' front office, guess where much of the focus will be in the final four games, that's right, on Hugh Jackson and his coaching staff. 2. Dorsey has spent most of his football life working with excellent coaches Andy Reid Kansas City and Mike McCarthy Green Bay. They have been Dorsey's coaches since 2006. 3. Jackson's attention to detail, game management and dealing with the clock have been problems during his two years with the Browns. They have to improve. Dorsey will also be paying close attention to the defense and special teams. How are they coached? Are any changes needed for? The discussion of Jackson needing an offensive coordinator has been going on for a long time. Reed and McCarthy usually call their own plays. Reed recently has allowed his coordinator to do it. Dorsey can help Jackson work out a system where the head coach has input on the offense, but he doesn't micromanage. Reed and McCarthy know how to make that work. 5. In other words, Jackson's job is safe for 2018 but he still has to show his new boss that the 127 record is primarily because he has so few talented players. I happen to disagree with that assumption. I remember how Chris Palmer was 527 in his two expansion seasons 19,992,000 with the Browns. I like this roster better than those of the Palmer era. 6. I do hope the Browns keep Greg Williams as defensive coordinator. They just switched from a 34 to a 43 defense with Williams. They have made some progress. I'd hate to see them change coordinators and perhaps go back to a 34. 7. Dorsey will not only be in quarterback Deshaun Kaiser on the field, but getting to know Kaiser as a person and a leader of the offense. Dorsey mentioned he liked Kaiser heading into the 2017 draft. Dorsey and his Chiefs traded up to pick quarterback Patrick Mahomes in the first round. 8. Sashi Brown intended to take a quarterback high in the 2018 NFL Draft, even if Kaiser played well down the stretch. He wanted depth at the position. Dorsey will have a scouting staff that has done a lot of work already on the top quarterbacks. 9. Nothing wrong with taking a top quarterback, keeping Kaiser and trading for a veteran. Quarterbacks get hurt. They lose confidence. They also can be used in trades, as New England does with its young quarterbacks. 10. Isaiah Crowell is heading toward free agency. He's having a very mediocre year with 595 yards rushing in 12 games, a 3.8-yard average. Curious to know what Dorsey thinks of him. The previous front office was cool on Crowell, who didnt help himself by talking about how he thinks about his next contract nearly every day, 11. Dorsey will also have a chance to Josh Gordon on and off the field. That is important as he will have to develop a relationship with Gordon to help the receiver with his addiction issues. Or perhaps, Dorsey decides Gordon is too risky to keep long-term. A big decision looms there as Gordon is under contract for one more year, 12. Being able to the last four games and all the practices is a huge advantage for Dorsey heading into the offseason. Instead of relying on what others say and what he had from a distance, he now can. Why experience what has been going on with the Browns? It's a much better situation for him than taking over the team after the season.